Welcome back. Yeah, we had a few snowflakes over the last few days, including today. But winter is officially over. I don't know if you knew this. This gives us a chance to compare this winter to past winters. And of course, the past, something Craig Worth knows a lot about. He's seen a number of Utah winners, and he gives us his take now on how this one stacked up against what we had in the past. It is tonight's Worth Watching. It is now spring. Well, maybe not quite tulips and daffodils in Summit County. You know, now that it is spring, we can look back at winter and reflect. And you know what? We didn't have it so bad this year. In fact, I went back into our archives the last 20 and 30 years, and oh my, those were winters. The 1980s and 1990s were really something just in case you're wondering what we got away with this last winter. Now, if you want to talk about snow, this was 1993, your own little backyard avalanche. And your cars? Now they just kind of looked like another mound of snow. And we've had winters where you really couldn't find your car. Oh, but the snowplow found it. Oops, I guess it wasn't just another mound of snow. And not only the snow, we missed those zero visibility days. You know where you can't see anything. Oh, you don't do any better opening up your truck door and looking out. That is not a swell idea. Oh, something doesn't feel right about this either. Those were not good days. Fortunately, this last winter, we really didn't have many days like this. And in the 90s, we had these unbelievable snowstorms. They crushed carports all over the place. They even crushed those big 1980s cars. No, we got by easy this last winter. If you missed the 1990s, you missed the storms that demolished houses. They actually did places that stood for years. That was it. And one storm even destroyed a state liquor store. I did love the sign, we will be closed due to the weather. Well, maybe also because our building is gone. I mean crushed down to the Merlots and Chardonnay wines. And people came and maybe didn't notice that the building was gone. Oh, I see, they will be closed. Okay, I'll come back. And you missed what I call stair-edit events. That's where gas lines blow up due to the cold, and you can only stare at it. Now you missed having to get on your roof and shovel, and you missed creating inventions to remove snow. This works fine, except when you stand right behind it. That's a fun one. How bad was it? The state had to declare emergencies back then and gather everyone in a room to discuss what we could possibly do. Well, I suppose skiing was the only thing positive about some of these storms. Al just had close to uh, probably 70 inches since last Wednesday. The officials decided to declare war on the snow and bring out the National Guard. That was something. See how easy this winter was. Every night, the National Guard dug out neighborhood after neighborhood. Again, that was in the early 1990s. So if you complained at all about this year, remember it wasn't that bad. Of course, I guess we could still get a record spring snow. Nah, well, maybe. Most places in Utah reported about 70 to 90% of normal snowfall this last winter. In those storms, though, in the 80s and 90s, parts of Utah had as much as 400% of normal snowfall. How about that, Caesar? So you weren't around for it, man, but the National Guard was out here. <laughs> that storm in 93 was crazy. So we think this year has been so historic with COVID, and it certainly has. But the weather wasn't that wild. 